There are several ways to enter Macau from Hong Kong. We opted for scenic ferry ride to Macau, which was a swift one-hour voyage across the waters. Immigration to Macau is quite easy. Just don't forget your passport. Once we got off the ferry, we were greeted by a flurry of eager agents offering day travel taxis, each presenting enticing itineraries for our exploration. Also, don't forget to flex your bargaining skills when dealing with these travel guides. We managed to slash the initial quote nearly in half. Through this video, we are going to unlock the secrets of Macau's top spots with insider tips from our day trip guided by a travel agent. Save this video if you are planning your Macau adventure. Stick around till the end and I will spill the beans on a regrettable moment that might just save you from making the same mistake. Starting our adventure at Fisherman's Wharf was like stepping into a picture-perfect paradise. Every corner was a feast for the eyes, giving off vibes that reminded us of the majestic Colosseum. Standing tall at 338 meters, the famous Macau Tower offers amazing views and is renowned as one of the highest commercial bungee jumping spots globally. Plus, it has top-notch event facilities at the convention center. The next spot took us to the highest point of Penha Hill. It is a sanctuary offering panoramic views and a peaceful escape from the city's hustle and bustle. Built in 1488, the Ama Temple is one of the oldest in Macau. This timeless treasure pays homage to the sea goddess with its rich history and tranquil ambience. Senado Square, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stands as the historic heart of Macau. Encircled by meticulously preserved colonial buildings, it's a captivating fusion of European and Chinese architectural styles. Wanderers can't help but marvel at the vibrant facades, intricate designs and charming cobblestone pathways that weave through the square. And the attractions within and around Senado Square? They are simply legendary. From the Holy House of Mercy to the majestic St. Dominic's Church and the iconic Lille Senado building, history comes alive at every turn. It is also a shopping and dining heaven with numerous boutiques, souvenir shops, cafes and restaurants lining its streets. Visitors can indulge in local delicacies sample Portuguese pastries, or shop for unique gifts and souvenirs to take home. Depending on the time of the visit, beautiful festive decorations brightens up the place even more. Just a few minutes short walk from Senado Square is the iconic The Ruins of St. Paul's. The Ruins of St. Paul's are the remnants of a church which was originally built in the 16th century. Its most recognizable feature is the striking facade, 
with intricate carvings and sculptures. Despite being destroyed by a fire in 1835, this facade remains remarkably intact. Our final stop on this whirlwind adventure was none other than the Kotai Strip, the heartbeat of Macau's vibrant energy. The Kotai Strip is renowned for its world-class integrated resort complexes, which combine luxurious hotels, casinos, shopping malls, entertainment venues and convention centers, all under one roof. While exploring the Kotai Strip, keep an eye out for the replicas of famous landmarks like the Big Ben, the famous Rialto Bridge of Venice, Eiffel Tower in Paris and other iconic structures. It will feel like you are in Europe. As our day in Macau wraps up, I can't shake the feeling that we have barely scratched the surface of this lively city. My biggest regret is having only one day to explore, especially when it comes to enjoying the vibrant nightlife of Macau. If you find yourself planning a trip to Macau, heed my advice, give yourself the gift of time. Trust me, it's an experience you won't soon forget. See you in the next destination.